The scheduled maiden voyage later this month of a Chinese-made supertanker has reignited debate over whether or not China's navy should possess an aircraft carrier. The mammoth Xinbu Yang oil tanker is currently being prepared to take to the sea at a shipyard near the southern city of Guangzhou. Displacing 350,000 tons, more than three times as much as the biggest American aircraft carrier, the supertanker is well over 1,000 feet long and has a deck the size of three football fields. Now the ship's makers say it's built to withstand the worst weather and can circumnavigate the globe in just 60 days. It's also certified to operate without a pilot in many ports due to its advanced automatic navigational and control systems. For supporters of a Chinese aircraft carrier, the fact that such an advanced ship and of such scale can be built with indigenous Chinese technology is a signal the country is also capable of building and launching its own aircraft carrier. Our researcher Jackie Wen joins us now from the newsroom to see how internet users in China are weighing into this debate. Jackie, this is certainly a huge technical achievement for a Chinese shipyard. Do many people feel this means an aircraft carrier is on the cards for the Chinese Navy? There are a lot of excited internet users on Sina.com who seem to think so. They say that if a 350,000 ton oil tanker can be built, this shows Chinese shipyards have already mastered the technology of building the power and drive systems of ships even larger than aircraft carriers. These people who are in favor of an aircraft carrier for the Chinese Navy say these ships are a symbol of a country's military power and that it is time for China to invest the extra effort in building its own one. But Jackie, this is a civilian ship after all. It's an oil tanker and although it's certainly very huge, it's very different to building something like a warship, isn't it? Well, that's just what other net users say. They feel speculation about aircraft carrier is premature and point out exactly that this is just a commercial ship despite its huge size. These people say that the technology needed to build an aircraft carrier is much more advanced than for a normal oil tanker. In addition, they say photos of the control room show analog dials and mechanical levers and buttons instead of advanced equipment like computer touchscreen controls and display devices. What about the fact that this is indigenous Chinese technology, Jackie? Surely that's a step in the right direction. Well, that's what a lot of those commenting wonder. They ask where the key devices actually come from. Are all the high-tech elements like the automatic control system domestically designed and made, or are they imported from developed countries? These people say China will only be ready to build its own aircraft carrier when all the key technology is available here. In fact, one person said that whether it is an aircraft carrier or a super tanker, nuclear power should be used instead of conventional engines, considering the huge carbon emissions involved. Thanks, Jackie. Now, don't go away. Coming up next, we have our question of the day.